It's just a remarkable kind of story, isn't it? And then this week, it really properly kicks off, doesn't it? Because there's a whole host of people. Yeah. Th and it could be any of you. One any of nine, suspects? is it? One of nine or seven? Seven suspects there are. Now. Unless there's a curveball in there. It? I don't know either. It was Rita <laughs> from Corrie. <laughs> 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 they've filmed lots of different endings, haven't they? So you actually yeah, don't know so who's we, done it yet. They've done that just, you know, because these things can sometimes have a habit of getting out and then it'll just completely spoil it. Yeah. So why take the risk? Film lots of different endings. So and right now, you don't know. I, it, don't it, it's all in down to the power of the edit. So uh, who do you think it was? You. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the interesting thing. I mean, all the characters, have, they've got motives, you know, um, and valid motives as well. So it really is, I mean, it's, it's How really How can you have a valid motive? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's killed our dad. She's killed our dad. She's killed our brother. She tried to kill me as a kid. Yeah. That's, really? That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. right, isn't it? That's no, valid. Is that not valid? Evil. Is that not valid? Is that a man no, no, no. Exactly. Not a very good one. We don't live in an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. No, we do in Emmerdale. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, how many murders can happen in one postcode? Well, oh, I don't know. There's been a lot over the years, plane crashes, murders. Well, that's it, but they all seem to happen around October. And October. Oh, weird, isn't it? <laughs> okay, next, next year, bro. It's a curse month. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to have to get off in October. It must be fun, though, to be a part of a storyline like this and to really get heavily involved and be super dramatic. It's just great as an actor to get material that you can really sink your teeth in and you've got to really focus and study the text and whatnot and it's quite emotional so it pushes you as an actor and stuff it's perfect mm, i'm not sure about ross you see i mean we saw him driving away from the scene mm. yeah, I, there? I, there's something dodgy there <laughs> yeah. it's always something dodgy as far as ross well there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, the problem is as, as much as you two are, are, are brothers you two are suspicious of each other as well clearly so sure. everyone is on edge yeah yeah because what we've been through um you know losing our mum and our um, brother, it's just emotions are high and everybody's starting to point the finger at everybody. It's been complicated for us, like, when we've been reading it. Like, there's been times where I've been like, oh, my God, I think I did it. I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> of course, if one of you did do it and you get found out, that's it, you're going to be written off because you'll have to go to jail. Yeah, it happens. Unless there's a weird Emmerdale sense of justice where you are a guilty murderer, <laughs> but you still come back to do a bit of community service. Well, we can live in Oak, can't we? There's been characters that have killed... I think, was it Tom King had killed somebody and then he kept managed to, like, survive in the show for about another five yeah. years. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. so, fingers crossed. <laughs> and it's almost shot like a movie there, isn't it? When you see Emma falling to her death, it's, it's very so cinematic, it was, isn't it? It's it high up, I mean, two years ago I had to hang him over it upside down and then literally we legs. did hang him over and it's about what maybe 40 meters wow. I don't know I'm not... oh, yeah about 100, 140 foot I think it is and he was literally hung over it by a harness by his like by his well, waist and it, it never got it never got easy <laughs> he does all his own stunts <laughs> I, I love the fact that on screen you've got this really fiery relationship but actually you two are really good friends and yeah, you're actually right. going to move in with each other is that right at one point yeah we were and Joe as well and he got We're... to know me <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> like that balcony or anything. <laughs> no, no, there wasn't. Yeah, we were going to get, like, a bit of a lad's house, me, Joe and Quinny. Why didn't you? Because it would have been chaos. We would have never been showing up for work. We would have always been partying. <laughs> well, we still, yeah, there's been a few occasions where we stayed at yours and... You could make a whole new yeah. soap out of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forget the viewers, man, who knows? In the cast and crew, um, is there a book out on who has done it? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think... Yeah, yeah I mean, there's, like the there's a few. National. Is there really pop like? <laughs> yeah, there, there are a few <laughs> favourites. Uh, I think people are wanting to see Gabby. Yeah, um, that, across, yeah. yeah, that would be a big curveball. That'd, be, that'd be, yeah, be a nice little twist. Wouldn't Ross it? has got Ross has got just as much, re probably the most reasons because she obviously obviously has tried to kill him before, killed his favourite brother. No offence, bro. <laughs> um, you know, so I think he's probably got the most reason, but would that be too obvious if it turned out to be him? I mean, all they ever did was just cause grief for the boys anyway. Um, ever since turning up, I mean, as, as Mike stated, she tried to take Rossi's life as a baby, um, and Pete witnessed that. Um, but, yeah, she's never been... Well, right approve, moment, well yeah. approving at all of any relationships the boys have had, you know, she's never really been a stable character since the off, so... No, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of upset just constantly, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> a strange kind of relationship amongst the entire family. I do have to ask you very quickly, never has someone shaving a beard caused so much <laughs> drama. It's crazy, We think it's dramatic in the deals. My goodness, you I shave your beard I didn't actually shave, it was a really violent sneeze. And then <laughs> <I just shaved. laughs> so for anyone that maybe didn't catch this, Mike, you went to Strictly to see oh, Gemma, yeah, obviously, did, yeah. who is in Strictly doing brilliant at the minute. There he is, Look, very that's fresh. That's the world's yes. worst photo. <laughs> 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 it's like, have you got a 
beard or not got a beard or a bit of fuzz? What's that all about? Well, I, I think that's, that's about that's about a day's that's about a day's growth. But I I had two weeks off work, so I had to shave it, and then we thought, oh, it'll grow back by the time. And then I stupidly went. And this is for a storyline, am I that? Yes. Uh, I'm not. I'm not giving. Yeah. 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 Sneaky, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I stupidly went on Strictly, and then the cat was out of the bag. Then Digital Spy and OK and had been writing articles about it, and I was like, what have I done? And you got <laughs> inundated, didn't you, with messages and tweets? Yeah, so and many also... people going, oh, you're minging without oh, a beard. That's not true. <laughs> 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 so everything does. you do is analysed to see if you're. Every, everything that you do, yeah, what, like. What well, pubs do you drink in? No, no, no. I'll take you for a drink. No, no, no. A little known fact is when I first got a house in Yorkshire, I was driving down the road and guess what? I hit another car and it was the Emmerdale film crew. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, in it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, everything you do is super analysed, like why we're here, why I shaved, you know, um, when I was on Strictly and you you went watching Strictly and then people were like, oh, they're leaving the show because they're going to be on Strictly oh, next course. year. Oh, don't do any weird hand signals now, they're all being interpreted. <laughs> <laughs>